Moment, a live update on that story about the sporting star in the States. But first tonight, a man described in court as the leader of the real IRA has become the first person in the Irish Republic to be convicted of the charge of directing terrorism. Michael McKevitt, who comes from Dundalk, will be sentenced tomorrow. He tried to destroy the peace process, but in the end, Michael McKevitt brought himself down. At Dublin Special Criminal Court, McKevitt became the first man in Irish legal history to be convicted of directing terrorism under new laws introduced after the Oma bombing. It was five years ago this month that 29 people and two unborn babies were killed in Oma. The hardline Republican splinter group, the real IRA, was behind the attack. Relatives of some of the victims came to court today to see McKevitt being sentenced. I'm very happy and happy for my children and happy for the other victims and happy for everyone that was injured uh, and traumatized. It was the evidence of this man, American David Rupert, which led to the conviction. He risked his life by spying on McKevitt for the intelligence services. So what now for the real IRA? It's had an absolutely uh, devastating impact on the real IRA insofar as that they're all looking at one another and wondering who is next, who else is involved in spying for the intelligence services. A senior Irish detective said the jailing of Michael McKevitt was good news for all those in favour of peace. This is a significant conviction, there is no doubt about that. That said, uh, there is a continuing threat to the democratic process in this country. Uh, we will continue uh, our efforts to investigate all of these dissident groups. In the murky world of paramilitarism, Michael McKevitt was once seen as Mr. Untouchable, but not anymore. The intelligence services have proved their ability to penetrate hardline Republican groups, and they'll now want to ensure that today's conviction is not the last. Mark Simpson, BBC News, Dublin. Well, our correspondent Chris Kappa is in Dublin. He says this case highlights the current state of the real IRA. It's an organization that is understood to be in, in some disarray, although there is some blurring between it and another Republican faction, the Continuity IRA, which continues to be active. Indeed, in the same court yesterday, a number of men appeared on charges connected with the discovery of an alleged terrorist training camp here in the Irish Republic. This man was so evil for so long was there one particular aspect of his behavior that meant his downfall? I think it was the trust he put in that agent, David Rupert, who is a, a paid agent of the FBI, who insinuated himself in, into a, a Republican uh, camaraderie, if you like, down uh, on the west coast of Ireland. And it was there that he first met McKevitt. They had discussions, uh, discussions about arms procurement, about organizing support in the United States. And it was at these meetings McKevitt said things like, nobody joins the army unless I say so, and that he ordered that uh, car bombs were to be placed only in central London or where he directed against military targets. So it was the fact that he trusted this man who turned out to be an agent that led to his downfall. Are the, the families of people who lost their lives in the OMA bombing, are they expecting similar charges now, but against other people? Well, what the Oba families are doing is they're undertaking a civil case against five people they believe were behind the Oba bombing, including McKevitt. Now, they're hoping that this case, if it does go ahead and is successful, will lead to criminal charges. That's what they're hoping will, will happen. The police here in the Republic have made it clear that their investigation into the Oma uh, bombing uh, continues, uh, is an open case. And that's also the position taken by the police service of Northern Ireland. So the family's hope is that eventually, and they haven't given up hope yet, that criminal charges will be brought against others and the criminal charges directly relating to the Oma bombing will eventually be brought against McKevitt himself. Chris Kappa there.